continuing from a previous video, we, we, are talk, we are comparing the maximum and minimum monthly average temperatures of Nairobi and Rome. So we said that in Nairobi, there seem to be two, this is a major peak and this is a minor peak. So let me write that. So one thing that you can see here is this is, we can call this the major peak. And this is the minor peak. Okay, so this is the this is the minor peak. So yeah, it seems that Nairobi has two uh, very warm or two sets of warm months. So this is February, March. Uh, this is December. So this is November, October, November are also warm months. Okay, so there are two. This is minor major peak, and this is minor peak. Whereas in Rome, uh, these you can categorize as warm months. Okay, you've got four warm months, which is over, no, one, two, three, four, five, six warm months, and these are not that warm. Okay, so let's read the next question. Comment on how the maximum and minimum temperatures in the two cities vary over, the, over a year. Okay, so that's what over a year, uh, let's talk about Nairobi. Nairobi has one major and minor peak. So February, March are uh, major peak. And uh, say this is December, so this is November, and October, and September. And September, October are again warm months. So there are two peaks. So the and uh, same way for the minimum. Uh, can you see this is the maximum minimum, maximum of the minimum, and this is the maximum of the minimum. Whereas in Rome, there's only one trend here, okay? From the minimum, it goes up, and then it goes down. So it's it's in phase. So there's one full cycle. So it goes up and comes down, and again, so this is a very uh, uh, up and down moment. It's like a sine graph, okay? So this is a clear trend. So from minimum, it's going up. Uh, so it rises, say, from, say, 12 degrees to 28 degrees on an average. Whereas here, we are only talking about maximum. So on here, the maximum it is between 20 and 28. Okay. Whereas in minimum, it is between 10 to 15. And here, the minimum is between say around 5 to 15 okay so the minimum is between 5 to 15 and maximum is between say 15 to 28 so that's what you can say about the maximum and minimum okay so let's move on to the next question question e is richard co correct to say that the difference between the maximum and minimum temperatures is less in rome Justify your answer using your graph. Okay, so what Richard is saying that the difference between the maximum and minimum is uh, less in Rome. Okay, so what's the, on an average, what's the difference? So yeah, let's say on an average, let's take the average of minimum. The average of minimum is 10 degrees centigrade. And the average of maximum is, say, 22 degrees. So here the difference is 12 degrees. The difference between maximum and minimum is 12 degrees. Whereas for Nairobi, this is 12, so 23. And this is the average of the average of the maximum. And this is the average of the minimum. So 23 minus 12 is 11 degrees so there is no appreciable difference or there is no considerable difference between the maximum and minimum in between Nairobi and Rome there is about but this there's only about one degree centigrade and that's not a significant or an appreciable difference between maximum and minimum okay so that is also not right so so no uh, there's a difference of only one degree centigrade, okay, on an average, okay. And finally, if Richard wants to live somewhere warmer, should he choose, so this is his goal, 
okay he has got no other consideration he is only looking for a warm place to live maybe he is sick and tired of the cold weather in New Zealand so he choose he choose Nairobi should he choose Rome or Nairobi okay justify your answer okay uh, I would there are two there are, can be different so one recommendation can be uh, if he wants warmer weather okay warmer weather he wants warmer weather uh, or predictable weather or predictable weather predictable weather what should he choose because if he wants warmer weather he is I think he he is thinking of a, a place where the temperature can be predicted much better than in New Zealand as you as there is a saying in New Zealand that you can have four weathers in, on the same day so if he wants a predictable weather which place would be better I want you to look at the two, two graphs and tell me okay so this is the graph for this is the graph for Rome and this is the graph for Nairobi so if he I would choose I would recommend that he he goes to Nairobi if he wants a predictable weather because here the temperature is between even the minimum temperature the lowest of the minimum temperature is over is more than 10 degrees okay so here we can make a judgment like this statement like this uh, because uh, whether he should go to Nairobi so let's write this I'm writing this in very short form you this is a shorthand form you need to describe this better because the minimum the minimum uh, of uh, the minimum temperature the minimum temperature of Nairobi is always greater than 10 degrees always greater than 10 degrees that's one thing that you can say secondly uh, much warmer months much warmer months compared to Rome compared to Rome so why, why do we say so see if you look at Rome if you look at Rome let me, let's go back to Rome see these months even if you take the maximum these circles these are the months where your temperature is your maximum temperature is maximum temperature uh, average maximum temperature is below 20 degrees okay whereas in Rome sorry whereas in Nairobi the maximum temperature is always above 20 degrees and if you look at the minimum the minimum temperature goes below 10 degrees in Rome can you see these months these months the minimum temperature is going below 10 degrees here so these are your justification to say that minimum temperature is in many months is less than 10 degrees and whereas in Nairobi it's always any temperature is your minimum temperature is always greater than 10 degrees that's one if he wants a predictable weather if he is only looking for warm weather and Nairobi is more predictable okay the second thing that you can say is your temperature is dependent on other factors temperature of a place depends on also on the chill factor okay the wind chill factor depends on the wind okay so if the wind if it's windy even if the temperature is higher it can be really cold okay, it can, depends on wind it also depends on rainfall so you can have a warm place but it can be very rain uh, uh, it's it can be very rainy okay that can also bring down the temperature so he should also considers that he should also consider 
other factors like wind and rainfall and which will affect the temperature and the other limitation that we have here is discuss any limitation in the data now the limitation that we have is this is only the average average monthly maximum or minimum so this is the temp this is the data of average of the maximum and average of the minimum of a certain month so you don't have the temperature of days of individual days which would have made better sense here you are, you have only a snapshot of the average of the of the whole month so this what i mean is this so let me take an example and explain suppose this is say 28 degrees that means in july of 2007 Rome had an average maximum of 28 degrees but it maximum can be dependent because you're taking average of all the maximum temperature on of the complete month you are losing many of the data so it would have been better if you had the individual day temperatures uh, maximum and minimum of both the cities it is